Hey guys, welcome back to the Juice Reacts channel and welcome to something new. That is right, we are still going to be continuing our Never Have I Ever reactions. And if I ever get back to Outer Banks, which I promise you I will, I just haven't had the time. And it takes a long time to edit those episodes more than it does a Never Have I Ever episode. So that's why Never Have I Ever has been coming out more. And obviously we're going to be continuing doing the lives. And I'm going to be continu continuing to do the top 10 moments stuff. So we've got a lot of stuff happening on the channel. But this is going to be something new and something that I'm very excited to bring to the channel. So as you guys know already by the title and the thumbnail. I'm going to be reacting to the new Percy Jackson series that is on Disney+. Plus. I'm very excited about this because... Little backstory on me and my history with Percy Jackson. I was never a big reader in uh, elementary school or middle school when when uh, these books were around, and it just any books in general. I didn't read any of the Harry Potter books. I'm just not a big reader, even to this day. I don't like reading books. I just I, I just not my type, not my thing. So when my teacher, I think it was sixth grade or maybe seventh. It had to have been sixth grade. Because I think I was still in elementary school. That shows you how old I am. Uh, I think it was in 6th grade, my teacher had us read the first... Or had us like do a, a quick read of the first Percy Jackson movie. The, light, the Lightning Bolt one. Or whatever. Lightning Thief, I think is what it's called. And we actually, fun fact, went to the movie theaters to see the movie. Like we, t It was a class trip to go see that movie. My 6th my grade teacher was pretty cool. So we, I don't know how many of, of the kids actually showed up, but I showed up and we went to see the Percy Jackson, the first Percy Jackson movie back in, I think it was, what, 2010? God, I'm old. Is that, is that when the first movie, I think it was around that area, 20, 2009, 2010, around that area is when the movie came out, I'm assuming. And I was a big Percy Jackson fan of that movie. I liked Logan Lerman, Alexandria Daddario, obviously I liked her, and, uh, Grover, I think his name, his real life name is like Brandon T. Jackson, I think is his name. Yeah, the the original three guys, or three people, I was, uh, I was a big fan of. And then they came out with the second movie, and obviously these movies are not great. We can all agree with that, right? That the acting's not amazing, the story writing's not great, the plot's kind of filled with holes. Like, it's, under, it's, it's obvious. The, the movies have not aged amazing, and they're just not great movies in general. But I enjoyed them, and I know a lot of people do enjoy them. And I obviously enjoyed them a lot when I was a kid. So when I heard that there was going to be a, a reboot, like a, a new series, and they were going to put it on Disney+, Plus, I was kind of excited. I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna give this a shot. I want to see how good it is, how, how it takes from the original two movies and from the books and puts it into a, a new modern take on the on the series so i'm excited to watch it i have not seen really anything about it i've seen the trailer at least one trailer online but i haven't really seen and that's been a few months ago now i haven't really seen much of this at all so i'm going into it completely for the most part blind with not knowing what's going on but obviously i know i understand the the concept of the of the series and of the plot and of the characters so I, I know that much going in, but I, I don't know much about these these actors, these kid actors. I have no idea. I think the the main kid, the, the kid that's playing Percy, I feel like he looks familiar. And I thought I saw somewhere where he was the kid that played the younger version of Ryan Reynolds in that movie where he goes back in time or in future time, whatever. He like sees himself and he, he like has the whole movies about him and his younger self or whatever on Netflix. I've, I've, I could be mistaken, but I think... That is the same actor, kid actor, that was in that movie? I have no idea. I could be totally wrong. But he looks at least like that kid. So if that is the case, then I at least know him from that movie because I have seen that movie. But I don't really know much about this going into it. So I don't know who's going to be in it. Except for I do know that isn't this the movie that has Adam Copeland in it? Is he in this or is that something else? Oh, that could be something else. I'm a big fan of Adam Copeland, obviously, from his wrestling days. Um... Is he is he in this? He might be in this series, or he's, he might be in something else. I can't remember. I guess we'll find out as we as we continue to watch. But other than that, I'm I'm pretty much completely blind to what's going to happen in this series, except for obviously if they take from the movies. I've seen those movies a few times, so I, I know kind of the direction those those go in. So enough blabbering on. 
We're gonna watch episode one of Percy Jackson, and what's this? What's the title of the series called? It's called Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Okay, Percy Jackson. I should probably know that before I, <laughs> I uh, go on here and give my monologue, uh, but I'll I'll know it post in editing. So, Percy Jackson and the Olympians episode number one is titled "I Accidentally Vaporized My Pre-Algebra Teacher." All right, so. It looks like we're going to get straight into it. <laughs> we're not going to waste any time. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm not sure how many episodes are going to be in this. I'm guessing season one is going to have probably eight to ten. I wouldn't think many more than that. Maybe 12 at the most. But I'm guessing probably in that eight to ten range. So it's going to be a quick series. Although the, the, the episodes are like 45 to 35 to 45 minutes. So it's going to be the longer episodes like the Outer Banks episodes. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. If you are, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's react to episode one of season one of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I didn't want to be a half-blood. Being a half-blood is dangerous. It's scary. Most of the time, it gets you killed. Because once you know what you are, they'll sense it too. And they'll come for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Wow. Okay, we're starting hot. Okay, I like it. I like it. <clears throat> My name is Percy Jackson. I'm 12 years old. Am I a troubled kid? Some stuff that's maybe not so normal. That's me, back in second Just grade. Casually staying on the roof. Why was I up there? I saw something. At least, I could have sworn I saw something. Good news. He's saying there's nothing to worry about. It's all in my imagination. But if it happens again, make sure to tell someone. It happened again. What? These impossible things. Is that like a, a rhino? What like is they that? walked right out of the stories my mom always told me. So, real one minute. Hey, fellas, want to come here about the imaginary stuff I see? It's not a thing you want to be saying to anyone. So I didn't. Then something changed. I met Grover. All right, Grover. We had a lot in common. <laughs> and not just because we we're both at the bottom of the food chain. You can almost believe they were imaginary. Weird, but... He's got Oops. underwear on. Why do you tie these? What's Okay. Until the day that changed, too. What you see here, they are not fictions. They are not fantasies. The gods, the monsters, the heroes you see here in this room are reminders of what we are capable of. And describe it. Oh, the Not dyslexia just is coming around. How it looks, but how it makes you feel. Hmm? Okay, come. On. What do you see? I don't see anything right now. Perseus. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's who you're named after. Because he was a hero. What makes you think he was a hero? Because he kills monsters. What makes you think that she was a monster? Mom. Not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero. Ooh. Not everyone who looks like Life a monster. Life lessons coming in in the first episode, first 10 minutes. I named you after him because when he was a very little boy, he and his mother were placed in a wooden chest and cast out into the sea. Hold fast, Percy. Brave the storm that was made to break us, for we are unbreakable. I don't like that. She's whispering. I only got one earbud in, and she's whispering in my ear. And it feels a little weird. Where's it? Mom? I'm right here, sweetie. Mommy's here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, you will learn to control yourself. Do you understand me? Percy's special. That's enough. I thought we weren't supposed to treat kids like Made this anymore. No mind. 
I mean, I, I've been, I'm a few years out of high school, so I don't you know anymore, but I thought you weren't supposed to treat kids like that. <laughs> They'll tell you, you'll be needing this. Hang on to that. It's a mighty instrument. Oh, is that the pen sword? Is that the, the pen sword from the first movie? Oh, that'd be so awesome. I feel like maybe it's... Oh, so Grover... Even even this, he doesn't okay. have the He's he doesn't really cover his legs to not show like his, his bottom half. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna be here forever. There are better places out there. That's some serious foreshadowing right there. What th did he throw? Did she throw cheese at Percy? him? <laughs> oh, so we're in the Star Wars universe now. Was that just the Force? What was that? There you are. We're not fools, Percy Jackson. It was only a matter of time before we found you. What in the world am I... Okay. Alright. She's got wings. Alright. Jeff? Yeah, look inside. Room some room, please. What happened? I didn't do anything to him. He Everyone go back me. to your lunches. She didn't right. do anything. What do you mean she didn't do anything? anything? She threw a sandwich at him or she, whatever she threw at him. Didn't anyone just see that? Where's Mrs. Dodds? There's no one here by that name. All right, class, let's move along. Oh god, that had the same kind of vibe as the he's been dead for 40 years kind of thing. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, a number of your classmates saw you and Mr. Underwood arguing with Miss Boba Fett. Yet you have offered Her no name is Miss Boba Fett? Ended up in that fountain. We are in the Star Wars universe. Other than, uh, isn't there anything else you'd like to say for yourself? I didn't touch Nancy. True, he didn't touch her. Okay. He just used the force. Mr. Underwood, do you have anything to add? Percy had told me earlier in the day that he wanted to get back at Nancy for all she'd done to us. Go Grover! And he isn't being truthful about what happened at the fountain. Grover! Excuse me. Grover selling him! Saw Mr. Jackson He's a rat! Ms. Oh, Oldest. I can't believe it. You gotta dump him. Yes. I did. Very concerned about you, Percy. I saw what happened at the museum. I didn't touch Nancy. I know you didn't. At least, I know you think you didn't. Do you want to tell me what you think did happen? You can tell me. I might just understand. You want to bet? He's the only one that would understand, except for Grover. Percy, you might have the most difficult journey. I suspect you are special, so much more so than you know. Just stop. This is my ride. I'm going home. This ride is a janky truck. All right, can't judge. Have you considered eating more fruit? Hey, I eat plenty of fruit. Have you considered eating more fruit? No. Oh. Hello, Percy. Well, I'm walking out. You're walking in. I should be apologizing to you. Oh, are they gonna go with the the douchey stepdad again? Hell, hello. Welcome oh, home. Oh, totally. They're Genius. they're totally going with that. Is my mom home from work? Oh, is that all you gotta say to me? Huh? They called mom's cell. You answer mom's cell. I answer whatever's ringing. First off, so we know this dude isn't on the right path. He's got a Zach Wilson right. jersey exactly. hanging up in the, in the living room. We know he's he's screwed up. Okay. If you're going to live under my roof, you got to live by my rules. Your roof? My mom is the only one employed here. Excuse me. I have a job. What does it look like I'm doing right now? 
losing at imaginary poker? Things Where's like, my mom? I don't know. I don't know where your mom is. I'm not Nostradamus. What are we doing, Percy? What? Every time. Wow. Wow. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Cut out the copyright music. I don't want to get caught. I'm really sorry. I tried this time. You know how hard I've been trying, but this time it really wasn't my fault. It really wasn't my fault. I'm all wet now. I'm sorry. I'm just very glad to see you. All that matters is that you're here, okay? And that I had enough time to pick up your welcome home gift. Mr. Bruner called me too. He told me about Grover. Do you want to talk about it? No, nah, forget about Grover. He sold you out. Is there something else you want to talk about? Has been happening to me. More than just my mind wandering and it got worse and I'm scared. I don't know how anyone expects me to get any work done. Percy and I are leaving for Montauk. I, uh, I'll have the car back by Sunday morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since when are you going to Montauk? I called to reserve the place as soon as I got off the phone with Yancey. Who's Yancey? The school. Am I okay with this? Because on my way home on Sunday, I'm gonna stop at D'Angelo's and pick up sandwiches in time for tip-off. But if you make this miserable, I'm gonna go anyway, and then I'm gonna eat my sandwich and yours while I listen to the game on the radio. You no, know, I hate That's watching the mix alone. So do I! Look, make That's a serious threat. Please, could you have them put the peppers on my sandwich? You got it. We have a lot to talk about, but uh, that storm out there, it's getting angrier, so let's All right, this guy, we'll this dad beach. stepdad okay. isn't uh, bad. Pack your bag, let's go. Not as bad. He's not great, but he's not He's not as bad. The one in the movie was just, oh, God, he was horrible. Are you just standing on the rain, person? You're going to get wet. Kind of creepy. <laughs> On three. Ready? One. Two. Ah, you cheated. You can't cheat first. I found the good marshmallows, the ones that don't burn so easy. I don't think it was ever the marshmallows' fault I wasn't paying attention. Um, I need to talk to you about something. You had this whole drive, Percy. Whole drive up to Montauk. You didn't tell her? You just sat there in silence and fell asleep? And now you gotta I'm tell her? I'm used to feeling weird. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. It hasn't felt like daydreaming it's felt i don't know more real maybe now we're at the museum and you saw something something that felt real to you but no one else could see what did she say to you She? How did she know it was a she? Oh, here we go. All the secrets are coming out. Good job, Mom. Do you know why we come to this cabin every year? How did you know about that thing I we saw? We come to this place every year because this is the place I met your father. My dad. What does my dad have to do with this? A long time ago, I met a man here on the beach he was wise and brave and kind and noble that i had never met a man like him before and then i realized he was unlike any 
man I had ever met before. He wasn't a man at all. He was a god. I think the same thing about Cristiano Ronaldo. You fell in love with God? Like, like, like Jesus? <laughs> the stories that I have told you about Greek gods and heroes and monsters, they are real. Mom. In those stories, I have told you about how gods and mortals would sometimes have Mom, children together, stop. children Mom. called demigods, and sometimes they are known as half-bloods. You are a half-blood. And half-bloods are not safe in the world. Once they reach a certain age and they begin to understand what they are, terrible forces are drawn to them, driven to harm them before they can become strong enough to fight back. Just why are you telling me Percy, this? Percy, I know that this is hard to understand, but you have to believe me that this is real. But this is crazy. It is pretty hey, crazy. Hey, I'm not a god. There is something wrong with my brain. He's not a god, he's I a half. I understand that I'm weird, believe me. I get it. No, I'm not a baby. I know there's no such thing as monsters. I know there's no such thing as gods. And I know for certain that there is no such thing as demigods. Who's there? Grover. Grover? Grover? a little time sensitive to someone maybe open the door. Get out of here, Grover. What is he doing here? I don't want to yeah, see him. Yeah, you sold him out. Wait, Mom. I asked to have the night. You said we could all leave in the morning. Sorry, I'm early, but I didn't have any choice. You should have asked me before you... Whatever it is you're going to say, I don't want to hear it. Grover? Percy. Okay, so something's coming. Grover, and I you know, got the legs? Really bad. Grover, you got the legs I'm now? He's not to panic. I'm not panicking. Grover? Right? I'm Grover! Boss. What? Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> why is there half a goat in your pants? Oh. Oh, boy, she didn't tell you about. You didn't tell him about me? You're early. So the important thing is not to panic. <laughs> we'll continue this in the car. Let's go. Grover's giving off big Carlos vibes right now, just the way that he's playing this character. <laughs> Season one Carlos. To guide you to this moment. Really Who are you? I'm Grover. I'm your best friend. And what are you? Hey. I'm a satyr. And I'm your protector. You're my protector? Which chasing us now would have found you there easily. Alright, maybe I can let him off a little bit. I'm sorry. I've been a little harsh on him. He sold him out, but it's Usually for a good I reason. I can sense danger coming a mile away, but this time, well, none of us saw Dodds coming. Why didn't you say anything? I saw some of it. The mist kept her hidden even from us until it was too late. Mist? What's a mist? The mist. It's the veil that hides the magical world from the human world. But it isn't supposed to hide things from me. That never happens. Something powerful is at work here. The They're gonna get attacked by the the, the Minotaur thing that chased the big bull, like in the movie, him, right? that chases them. No. What else haven't you told me? Is that the Minotaur? Once the attacks start, they never. They are know. gonna get attacked. Oh, by this is such a cool scene in the he movie. He is next. He, he is brutal. He is relentless. He is wearing underpants. Why is he wearing underpants? The magic cards were training. Everything has been training for what's still ahead of you. What's ahead of me, boys? Yeah, I'm actually 24. Hold on, please. <laughs> I don't know what that was like. Yeah, I don't think that was such a smart idea, Mom. What are you doing? That was cool. Doesn't the, his mom die in the movie? I don't remember. Is everyone okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Maybe I'll have to watch the movie again now. We're here. It's the boundary. No monsters can cross One it. One tree? Percy will be safe on the other side. Percy will be. But will all of us be safe? Grover, I am entrusting you to protect my son, my only child. Don't worry, Mrs. Jackson. 
Christy will be totally safe Sorry, if Hans Swear Jackson. it. What's happening? Swear it, Grover. Do you understand me? I swear. What do you mean, go? I can't go with you. Why can't you? She's human. Remember what I taught you. Remember the stories I told you, especially the stories they will no, tell you. No way. Mom, no. I'm not leaving you. Perseus, listen to me. Oh, you she went government. are not broken. You're a miracle. And you are my son. That's what he's tracking, yeah? That's right. So if he smells you in two directions at once, maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. You gotta get moving. This thing is coming for you, and you're just standing there. What are we doing here? Now! Oh, no, it's a red coat, too, so she's gonna do, like, the... The bull uh, running with the bulls thing, whatever. Like a matador. No, 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 Get moving, Percy. Oh, is he gonna pull out the pen sword? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Percy, Percy, no. Percy, oh, Did you get him. On Disney Plus, but okay. <laughs> I'm here for it. He must be the one. Hush, Annabeth. He's waking everyone. Give him some space, please. Yeah. How is he hiding all that in the Welcome under that blanket? What, what are we talking about Percy here? Jackson. You just got the body of a horse. We've been expecting you. Dog. Dog. That was a good episode. That was a good first episode. I liked it. I liked it. They did, from what I can remember from the movie, they did take a lot from the first, like, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the movie. And they, they implemented in that first episode pr pretty much to a point. Because I think in the movie, Percy obviously has the... Although they didn't do the dyslexia with the Greek letters, like in the movie. That's how he finds out that he can read Greek. But they did do, they did the reveal where Grover's the predictor and then they go on the, uh, and the stepdad, but in the movie the stepdad's horrible. I'm glad that in this they kind of toned him down a little bit to just a deadbeat. <laughs> but then you got like, they find out that he's the protector and he's got the horns, he's got the body of a goat, which is hilarious. And then they did the, the car scene where they get attacked by the Minotaur. They did put in the pen sword. It's pretty much, they followed it to a T. There might have been some small changes, but they followed it pretty much for the first few minutes, or for the first uh, opening act, I guess, of the of the first movie. So we'll see how they go in episode number two. But I did like this. I liked, I liked obviously the the humor that was involved in the first episode, some of the little jokes that they had, and uh, I don't know, just like 
it didn't feel like a Disney Plus show. I know that I said at the end when he stabbed the Minotaur with its own horn. Uh, I couldn't. I didn't know that they were going to do that on Disney Plus. It, this it didn't really have the tone or the feel of a Disney Plus show. You know what I mean? It's like this kind of felt like something that would be on. I don't know, maybe like Peacock or or uh, Paramount Plus or one of the more like cable channel networks that would be a little bit more into the drama or edgy side of things. Not Disney Plus, where you got a bunch of children watching stuff. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this fits perfectly on Disney Plus. I mean, obviously, the movies... I think, are the movies on here? I don't know. I think the movies are on Netflix. At least one of them is. But whatever. I enjoyed the first episode. I really did. I uh, can't wait to watch episode number two. I don't even know... Uh, I don't know when I'm going to watch it. Probably right after this one, actually. I'll probably just get done. I'll probably hit stop on the record on this and then hit record on the next episode. Uh, but obviously, next episode, we're going to be at the camp. We're going to meet Annabeth. Uh, we're going to meet the girl that has the rivalry with him. I can't think of her name right now. Oh, what's her name? I can't remember. You guys know I'm bad with names. And we're going to basically say the second episode is going to be, I'm assuming, the like getting the basics of the camp and learning everything there, all that stuff. So... Let me know if you enjoyed this first episode as well, if you're excited for the entire series, because uh, I know that I kind of am. I'm pretty excited about this, so that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.